this is me, and I create machine concepts at this company where we all work and live every day by these seven core business values. I work mostly with this group, investigating and solving problems to improve machines by using the best industrial controls and robotics platforms out there. Speaking of which, we recently acquired the largest model of ABB robots, the IRB 8700. After installation, we quickly realized just how comically large this robot really is for our space, and how it could easily destroy the building if we weren't careful. So I mocked it up virtually by using a LiDAR scan from my phone, and imported it into Robot Studio, ABB's robotic application development software. Robot Studio is a complete digital twin platform with a 3D CAD-based environment and a virtual controller for simulation, so it will be a critical tool for us in making sure we don't run into a situation like this. So we decided to take advantage of safe zones in ABB's SafeMove Pro safety controller inside the IRC5 robot controller. SafeMove Pro allows us to create volumetric regions in space for selective monitoring of TCP position, orientation, speed, and even force, as well as joint angles and speeds. Once we created the safe zones and tested in simulation in Robot Studio's virtual controller, it was time to deploy the real thing. By the way, I'm doing this in North Carolina, deploying the software remotely to our shop in Portland, Oregon. It looks shockingly small, but that robot is enormous. Nathan, can you, can you like go stand by it? Cause we just for our viewers at home. Oh yeah. Yep. That's a big boy. All right, Nathan, see if you could drive it into the floor. Would you look at that safety? All right, cool. Yeah. Try to, try to, try to smack it up in something high. Like maybe the lights or maybe that uh, that top beam there. Stop before I hit the top. Nice. See if I can hit the light. Wow, we're pretty far from that light. That's good though. That's okay. Let me see if I can run it into that sprinkler pipe. Nope. Ooh, how close are we there? 80 millimeters. Yeah, that's pretty close. Earlier today, just as a test, I ran it into one of the columns to see what would happen. Um, and it ran into the column. Now I don't think I can run into the column. That means that we are less likely to knock the building down with our tests. All right, well, this looks like a success. We have tried to destroy the shop and we cannot destroy the shop thanks to the Safe Move Pro functionality in the IRC5, which controls our IRB 8700. So another successful digital twin deployment and we will sign off from there. Thanks everybody.